Jaden, uh, when you first got here, did you know how good Dorian Singer would turn out to be? Uh, yeah, I knew he was athletic and a freak of nature, so. But if I'm being honest, I didn't think he was going to be that good. No, I don't think anybody thought he was going to be the person he was today, and that's credit to his hard work he put in this offseason. Why do you think the offense has become so much better over the course of the, the season? Is it just from repetition? I would say repetition. Um, it goes with many of the receivers trusting Coach more throughout the season, um, and all of us players on the offense, all 11 of us trusting each other. You now were able to shake him off almost like a pitcher catcher kind of thing. When did that get to the point where you felt comfortable saying, no, I, th I think we should do something different? Um, so, I mean, I kind of would do it probably a couple games ago. But, I mean, I would say this game was kind of like, okay, where he would allow me to do that and give me something else. And is that within the course of like, he signals in a play and then what, what happens? Uh, he kind of would signal in a play, and I'm like, no, not that play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then he'll signal in another one, yeah. Okay. Okay. And how, what was the process of kind of building that trust? Um, it was just, you know, he puts a lot of trust in me and this offense, everybody on the offense and everyone on the team. So it's just I have to trust him back just so it's a good, healthy relationship. I, I remember when uh, Jacob first started kind of rising up through the ranks, the coaches would say that he was like a menace on the scout team. Did you notice that? Oh, yeah, I did. I kind of would have to tell him, like, relax sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's so that's a good thing, right? Yeah, no, it's, good. it's needed, yeah, it's needed. So it's credit to his hard work he put in. You know, he came in in the summer. And, you know, since he came in, it's just been grinding for him. Did you have uh, the possibility of coming in January like the like your survey teammates? Uh, no, because I wasn't, uh, I wasn't highly recruited like that, so I wasn't planning on leaving early because I didn't really have a home to go to. So I, I, could, I, I didn't have a chance to come in early because I didn't, I didn't take the classes. So knowing that you were coming in June, uh, did, did you think that you still had a, a good chance to play the first year knowing that you, you didn't have the spring behind you? Um, I knew I had a chance, but I knew it was going to be way harder for, uh, for, them, for me than the other guys because they, uh, they came in earlier. So I just knew I had to work my, my butt off. How have you been able to, to move up so quickly? I mean, literally just working and just playing the way I play, uh, being physical, like being the linebacker that every coach wants, you know what I mean? Um, just being physical, like like whoever's in front of me, like it don't matter. I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to win, like having that mentality. And how did you develop that kind of like run downhill mentality? Because when you're out there on the football field, it looks like you're flying your ball. How, how does that develop over time? Um, dang, I can't really explain that. Yeah, Polynesian. it's a Polynesian in me, uh, really. Uh, I feel like I've been like that ever since I was little. Ever since my dad uh, had went head up with me. <laughs> ever since that, I've been fearless. Overall, though, how's uh, your experience been at Arizona? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, I, li I like it here. I like uh, what we got going on and how the way Coach Fish is rebuilding this program. I feel like we're going in a good direction. Coming in late like you did, did you feel like you had to do more to catch up, like work twice as hard or study twice as much? Or? Yeah, um, yeah, kind of. I felt like I was a little behind already just because everybody had, like, they were more in condition and stuff like that. So I know how to get on top of my stuff and really just try to outwork them to, to win that spot. Was it more of the physical conditioning or was it learning the playbook that was the biggest yeah. challenge? Uh, I feel like the playbook was probably my biggest challenge. I feel like I got it down now, though. I'm, I'm fine. When Don Brown recruited you, did he have a plan for you, like a, a specific linebacker position? Yeah, uh, middle linebacker. Has that, has that changed since then, or is it the same? I know yeah, you yeah, it's the same. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, you and Jacob were kind of like a little bit off in the first half against USC, and then in the second half, totally different story. Uh, how does that work during the course of the game? If maybe you're, missed, you're not connecting with the receiver, what, what are the conversations like? How do you make that course correction? Um, so, I mean, I missed him on one play that should have been a touchdown. And I kind of just told him, I was like, bro, that's on me. You know, it's like, sad to say it, but uh, that was just a bad throw on me, you know.
I wish we could get that one back because it would have turned the whole game around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, we just talk. We all have a good relationship, so it's just me and him chopping it up. As good as the offense has been, Coach Fish has mentioned a couple times that there's still a lot out there. Where where can you still get better? Um, scoring on every drive. Um, I think we had two drives we didn't score. Field goal, I punted one. Um, just completing drives. Um, trying not to kick field goals, score touchdowns. Do you have the option to, to check out of that or uh, if yeah. you see something? Okay. How does that work? Um, I just look to the side. Out, you start out with, a, is it just to start out as a regular play and become the quick kick or just start as a quick kick and you can change it to? <laughs> I think I can tell you that. It's <laughs> <laughs> fine. It's fine. Um, uh, Jacob, what do you think of the, the formation where I think you're at linebacker and you have like seven defensive backs? What do you think that that formation does? Oh, that was that was kind of like a spy formation because uh, we didn't want him getting out of the pocket. So I feel like it's fine. We just got to get a pass rush, a good pass rush, and then our DBs lock up. I feel like it was going good for us a little bit. So on, the, on the third and one, you came crashing in and you tackled Travis Die short of the line, and then you did the basically did the same thing on the next play. And he cut you, right? And you yeah. got a hand on how close do you feel like you came to. To getting killed uh, bounds. I was almost there. I feel like if he didn't if he didn't uh, cut me, I probably would have got the tackle. Yeah, I was almost there on that one. Yeah, it got frustrating. I mean, yeah, what? it was. It is what it is. How would you describe um, just the learning curve of not only the playbook but coming into college? Just a lot, of, a lot of change that's thrown on you. Yeah, um, I mean, I feel like to be a good college a college player, you have to be able to adapt. Uh, during the game, there's so many adaptions that we got to put in. I feel like those are the best college players, and I feel like I'm doing better when it comes to that, when it comes to that. Is there an example you can think of where you had to make a change like that or adjustment during a game? Um, I think that's a little more sophisticated than you might have done in high school. Uh, not, not really. Just like the little adaptions that we make throughout the game, but that's, that's uh, simple. That's like we did that in high school too. So many of the, the freshmen are starting to play now. What I mean, what's like for you guys as a group? Um, I, I feel like our freshman class is a really hardworking class. Uh, we got a lot of competitive guys, and these guys are we got some dogs on our team. So I feel like that's why they're, they're starting to show up and play on the field. Since that, I think it was the Mississippi State game. Since then, you've scrambled a lot more than you were before. I don't know, maybe more than you have in your, in your career. Is that just, your seat? you're just taking what the defense is giving you, basically? Oh yeah, pretty much. Um, I mean, coach is kind of giving me the green light to just play now, you know? I kind of told him just, if we need it, just keep the ball in my hands, you know? Not in like a, like a cocky way or anything. It's just, I'll distribute it to the guys, you know what I mean? Like, I'd rather have the ball in my hands to where it's, I can get it to Jacob, or I can get it to T-Mac, I can get it to Dorian, and if I need to, I'll run it, you know? It just, probably me putting on the weight this year and everything is just trusting my body and everything that I can take a couple hits now, so. Are you faster than you were before, too? Um, <laughs> probably. I know I'm stronger for sure, yeah. yeah. You guys are not able to get an angle on you for the most part when you're, yeah. when you're going to that. I would say that's probably just bad judgment, or maybe I'm faster. <laughs> That one play on the sideline where I think you, you laid a hit at the end of the play, is that something that maybe you wouldn't have done uh, when you uh, were weighing less? Nah, I still would have done that, yeah. yeah. I think the next play was the interception. Yeah. Is that right? What was that sequence like? Was it just a oh, that no, was like a roller coaster. <laughs> that was bad. Yeah, it was bad. Um, but yeah, it happens. Obviously, you're not like you're not six foot four, two hundred fifty pound guy. You never will be. Um, is that something that is that a chip that you carry with you? Is that motivation? For yeah, you? I mean, for me, like I'm not even gonna lie. USC that was my dream school, so that, I feel like that was a really big game for me. And all these Pac-12 schools, I I wanted to get recruited by, but they I feel like they all underlooked me. So for me, that's just another chip on my shoulder to do better and just show them like show them that they're wrong. Uh, 
Jaden, what have you seen out of Utah's defense on film? Um, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing they put out there the past couple of years. I feel like they don't really um, change anything because the system is a really good system. Um, it fits them. So, I mean, I feel like we just got to go out there and just play our system, you know, not let anybody change the way we play. Um, play our style of football, and yeah. Appreciate it.